please remain standing as we present the colors from the ROTC and the National Anthem. Please be seated. All right. Welcome to Ravenwood High School's 13th commencement ceremony. My name is Andy Altmeyer, and I'm the student body president. First, before we do anything else, I'd like to introduce our special guests. First off, we have Dr. Mike Looney, the superintendent of our schools. And we have our Williamson County board members, Gary Anderson, <laughs> Sheila Cleveland, Jay Galbraith, and Anne McCraw. All right, thank you. So before I do anything else, I would like to say welcome Raymond Class of 2017. Welcome parents, family, friends, and really any other category of person that brings you here today, whether you may fall. Um, this is a very exciting time. We're finally graduating. It, for some of us, it feels like it's been just years and hours and everything of hard work to get to this moment, and for some, it's flown by. But one thing that's kind of interesting is, Ms. Hollinsworth can attest to this, but I've always enjoyed kind of knowing random symboli symbolism behind just random things. So as the class of 2017, I figured that the number 17 would be following us around for pretty much the rest of our lives, so why not know just some fun facts about the number 17, you know, right? So, first things first, the number 17, according to the hacker's jargon files, is the least random number, which is ironic because that's the most random fact I think I've ever heard in my entire life. But that's it, and I do not know the reasoning behind it, but I'm not a hacker and I haven't written the jargon files. Next, 
In Harry Potter, 17 is the coming of age for all wizards and the number of sickles in a galleon. And if you understood anything of what I just said, I'd like to say that you've lived your childhood very well. And congrats to you for on that one. Next, 17 is the longest winning streak in NHL history set in 1993 by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah. Yeah. Go Preds. All I can say. Yeah. All I can say is go Preds, if we're all being honest. <laughs> Stanley Cup is ours, y'all. This year, it's going to happen. Next, it takes 17 muscles to, take, to make a smile. In, in tarot cards, the number 17 is on the card of the stars, which symbolizes wishes that will come true and hope. In Roman numerals, the number 17 is written XVII. Now, if you rearrange those numerals anagrammatically, you can end up with VIXI, which in Latin translates as I lived. So all of us have come to the end of our lifetimes here at Ravenwood as Ravenwood students. Some of us face this end with courage, sadness, relief, even grief, whatever. Now, none of these emotions are any better than the next one. They're all just different. But it's how we handle these emotions that will determine how we go on with the rest of our lives. In Italian culture, the number 17 is an extremely unlucky number, as much as 13 is here. In Italy, they will skip the 17th floor in a lot of places, so it will go like 15, 16, 18, things like that. But in life, we all have the choice to focus on the one negative piece of information that we're given or to revel in all the positive things that we have around us, like hope and wishes and being able to celebrate all of your accomplishments that you've come to do. Now, us of a class have achieved so much. We finally broke that ACT score, good for us, and we've helped pull up the Williamson County average too. I know, it's crazy. What is it? We, we broke 26 as a class average, which is basically unheard of across the nation. And we are also the biggest graduating class to come through Ravenwood yet. So for all you parents, I'm sure you're going to enjoy listening to all 500 and something of all of our names. But I promise it will be worth it. But even after everybody's names are read, I look forward to being able to see all the amazing things that we're going to accomplish in the future. In five years when we have our graduation, or our reunion, not our graduation that's happening now, um, I know people are going to come back and they're going to be able to say all the crazy things that they've done and they're going to save entire things and just, you guys leave me in awe of everything. And so with that, I say, use your 17 smile muscles, pat yourself on the back, and just look at all the amazing things you've done. We've come this far, and here's to us. Thank you. All right, so next, please help me in welcoming our musical selection performed by members of our senior class, Camille Volcano, Abby Little, Lauren Haynes, and Jack Filipovic. And things 
that went before. I know I often stop and think about them in my life. I love them all. Y'all, that was amazing. <laughs> I'm like speechless. Okay. So next, I would like to present the salutatorian for the class of 2017. Please give a very warm welcome to Patrick Fallon. Thank you. I will now begin. Honorable faculty, fellow students, and corporate elites, it is with great pleasure and pomp that I, Patrick Joseph Fallon, have afforded the opportunity to speak with you on this blessed bright morning here in the Athens of the South. However, it wasn't so blessed a mere 28 hours ago. It was Friday, May 26th, John Wayne's birthday, the day Khrushchev arrived in Belgrade, National Blueberry Cheesecake Day, World Redhead Day, and Patrick Fallon writes his speech day. <laughs> I woke up in the morning and felt like Jerry Liu being jarred awake from his first period macroeconomics dream somewhat rattled and completely unaware. But today was speech writing day and I was pumped. I turned on some tunes, TikTok by Kesha, because that's what I imagine Coach P. Witty listens to. <laughs> Next, I opened my favorite millennial moon app, the Moon app, free on the App Store and Google Play. However, with $200 worth of fun-filled in-app purchases. <laughs> However, no such purchases were necessary to view the most crucial part of the Moon app, the moon, and the part that I will be speaking of today. Swiping left on my screen revealed an illuminating statistic. The previous day had been a new moon, and yesterday marked the first day of the waxing crescent. Now, if you aren't as familiar with the moon, or if you impulsively ate your Oreos before carving the phases into the cream in Miss Smith's second grade science class, the waxing crescent mean, means the moon is slowly growing to reveal itself until the moon is full. And while I was in this particular speech writing state of mind, a parallel dawned on me. Much like the new moon phase the greater Nashvillian area is cur currently experiencing in the sky, so is our class entering a new moon phase of our lives. A graduation might seem like a full moon event, the end of an era, and maybe it partially is, but the reality of it all is that a new moon phase is always right behind it. And that is the phase that we are not only entering now, but that we will enter several times throughout the rest of our lives. The moon is not new just once, it is new over and over again. And that brings me to the central theme of today's speech. We are not done. Young Ray Kim, Young Ray Kim, where are you? Young Ray Kim. I spent six years with Young Ray Kim and I will be continuing this legacy by bolstering my relationship with him in sharing a dorm at Vanderbilt University. But more seriously, college and the next few years will bring so many triumphs, hardships, and memorable experiences that will last a lifetime, just like what we have gained from our past four years at Ravenwood. All throughout high school, we have been growing and gradually becoming who we are. And though today marks one full moon in our lives, it is time for us to begin our next new moon phase, where we will continue to grow and reveal ourselves for years to come. Second, we are not done being passionate. Everyone has something they are passionate about. Mine happens to have six strings. I've been passionate about the guitar for a while, and it is a core part of who I am. I got my first guitar when I was six and a half years old from my great uncle. I never could have guessed in that moment how much it would mold and refine me into the person I am today. Having something to put your energy into is so incredibly important, because when you put your life into something, it shapes you in return, but this yields even further. When I was a mere three years old, I envisioned a life as an engineer, 
but not just any engineer. An engineer who made the world a better place by having a lab full of people with fascinating backgrounds and diverse stories. But my dream was multifaceted. It didn't just terminalize in my career. I dreamt about how it would have an impact on the world by raising a family and realizing my personal legend. When we're children, we have a higher capacity to create more intricate dreams and envision lives of higher depth and more passionate adventures because everything is new. However, life is constantly trying to place us in a daily cycle, and it is our role as citizens of the universe to constantly fight this force. It may seem that we have our whole lives ahead of us to live out our unique legacies, but the routines into which we will quickly fall have a tendency to place us within these cycles. I urge you to fight this battle every day of your life. Be willing to take chances and be vulnerable enough to be passionate. Third, we are not done being nice. Just because Dr. Looney's not gonna be at college doesn't mean you can forget your be nice knowledge. And finally, we are not done with AP student packs. Each year that you take AP exams, you are assigned a new number. Your 2017 AP number is located on a sheet of labels in the center of your student pack. You must use these same labels on all AP exams you take in 2017. If you run out of number labels, you must write your AP number in the areas indicated. You may not receive a new AP student pack or share labels with anyone. With that, I'll leave you with five words. Compel, invigorate, synergize, communicate, engage. And lastly, we will always be a part of 430168. Fellow peers, thank you and congratulations. Now, please welcome the president of the class of 2017, my friend, Ms. Kaylee Churchill. Hello. Um, hi. Um, so we did it, and I'm very proud. We made it through four years of crowded halls and crazy uh, parking lot traffic and honestly we completed work at a school that is very rigorous and very successful as much as we all maybe love to put Ravenwood down from time to time it was not the worst thing ever by any means and in fact I bet we'll miss it a lot one day who knows it feels like just yesterday we rolled up to Rafter Revolution getting dropped off by our parents and freaking out trying to find people from Woodland or Sunset I remember back when we used to all introduce each other and be like, oh, hey, this is my friend Soap. She went to Sunset. <laughs> but now it's hard to remember who went where because we've been Raptors for so long. It feels like last Friday we all screamed our heads off because we finally put Maryville in their place 26 to 17. And it seems like I can still feel the nerves before opening night of All Shook Up and good news. Never forget your roots. <laughs> I don't think anyone ever realizes how fast it goes by regardless of all the people who told us to cherish it freshman year, but now we made it here to our graduation. And we have a lot to show for it. We have multiple state titles and national championships and many other trophies to be proud of. But now, high school is a memory. It's a weird, weird memory, but it's a good one. It's no longer what we do. Now we are all going to college or finding a job or serving in the military. In some way or another, we are all entering into the real world. And as I stand here, I can't say that I'm looking at a bunch of future lawyers or doctors or great actors and actresses. I don't know if there's a president out there or the next figurehead for peace sitting in front of me. I'm really not sure. But what I've seen here in my last four years in our class is really hopeful. What I do know about the people in front of me is that we're very smart. The smartest to date at Ravenwood, in fact, with a 26.3, as Andy mentioned, no big deal. <laughs> we may not have everything going for us, but we have intelligence. And most importantly, above intelligence, what I'm most proud of about the people in front of me is our fantastic spirit. And I know we're bringing it wherever we all end up. Those two together are a dangerous combination, and I, for one, am very proud of our class. Regardless of all the silly times where we biked to school, or some of us rollerbladed, <laughs> or the loss of Pritchett's hair, or the times we got paint on the marching band, we're still sorry about that. Or the time we supposedly trashed Brentwood, or all the group me fights. Regardless of all that, I am proud of every single one of us. I don't know what we're going to do, 
but I know that I feel very lucky to be in the class of 2017 because we have nothing but good things for us out there. I have a lot of pride for this class, probably more than I should, but we've been through a bit together and we've learned a lot. I don't know if we'll ever have such community like this again, a community that runs so deep and that is so big, where even the people that you don't really know, you still know who they're friends with, but we will always have that in common. We will always have these four years in common and we will always have this place to think back on. And as I think back on it today, a few things I've learned, my advice, if you will, would be always have kindness. It is the prevailing factor in a lot of situations and it is never unbeneficial. You should always strive for wisdom in any situation. And lastly, have courage because all you can have is kindness, intelligence, and wisdom in the world. But if you don't share it, it won't matter. I know at some point I'll be saying, I went to high school with that kid, and I'm really excited for that. I can't believe I'm lucky enough to call all of you my classmates. Ravenwood is such a place, and I thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity to speak and be your president. It was really fun. Thank you. Hello, my name is Robin Dickerson, and I've had the privilege of being an administrator of the class of 2017 for the last four years. And I was born on the 17th. That was very random. At one of the entrances to a university I attended, there's a monument that reads, enter to learn, go forth to serve. With an average ACT score of, again, 26.3, the highest in Ravenwood history, the class of 2017 is ready to learn. As far as service goes, last fall you participated in the day of service where all of you went out in the community providing community service for many organizations. Also this year you were able to raise over $8,400 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation and sent a little girl to Disney World. Many of you provided community service with your clubs, teams, and honor societies. Heck, some of you even attended our Friday School Academy and provided campus beautification. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say I've never been more fulfilled or happier when in the service of others. So I'd say to the class of 2017, is ready to serve. No matter where you go after graduation, whether it's on to college, vocational training, serving in the military, or already have a job lined up, my message and challenge to you today is enter to learn, and more importantly, go forth to serve. It will now be my privilege to present the National Merit Scholars, the top 10% and the top 10 students of the class of 2017. The National Merit Program was established in 1955 to recognize and award our nation's brightest, most deserving students. Students qualify the program by taking the PSAT their junior year. More than 1.6 million juniors took this test nationwide in October of 2016. Less than 1% were named National Merit Scholars. We're so proud to announce that every one of Ravenwood's semifinalists progressed to the, in the competition to the finalist level. The class of 2017 has 16 National Merit Scholars. And those students are Please stand as I read your name and remain standing until all names have been read, and please hold your applause until all names have been read. Emily Barexa, Jared Boggs, Kurt Erickson, Garrett Ferran, Kaylin Goodbread, Theodore Grasson, Preston Johnson, Young Ray Kim, Ashley Glee, Adriana Kurowski, Jerry Liu, Jessica Mixon, Daniel Nicastro, Alexandra Plukas, Catherine Rigsby, and Dalton Schaub, your National Merit Scholars. You may be seated. Now the top 10% of the class of 2017. Again, 
Please stand as I read your name and remain standing till all names have been read. And please hold your applause till the names are completed. Stefan Ontage, Emily Barexa, Taylor Blaylock, Jared Boggs, Kayla Brown, Peter Clifford, Titus Cody, Zachary Cook, Alexander Edged, Kurt Erickson, Patrick Fallon, Kelsey Foley, Garrett Ferran, Rachel Gad, Maria Gentili, Kaylin Goodbread, Ariel Griffin, Theodore Grosson, Hannah Henschen, Oscar Istis, Rhea Jason Ghani, Preston Johnson, Blaine Casa, Young Ray Kim, Ashley Glee, Rachel Kleeman, Adriana Kurowski, Tessa Loftus, Eric Liu, Jerry Liu, Taylor Lure, Zachary Mack, Grayson Malone, Kevin McGinnity, Sidney Nelson, Daniel LeCastro, Jacob Osterberg, Ashley Page, Alexandra Plukas, Elise Rimechisel, Catherine Rigsby, Ruta Priya Shanker, Dalton Schaub, Nicholas Schaub, Griffin Smeltzer, Claire Sorensen, Emily Stone, Benjamin Tima, Mitchell Vines, Thomas Wallace, Andrew Webb, Carolina Williams, and Bailey Wilson. Tom 10% of the class of 2017. You may be seated. Now the top 10 students in the class of 2017 in alphabetical order. Peter Clifford, Patrick Fallon, Garrett Ferran, Kaylin Goodbread, Rhea Jason Ghani, Preston Johnson, Jerry Liu, Sidney Nelson, Catherine Rigsby, and Carolina Williams. Tom Ted, the students of the class of 2017. You may be seated. I would now like to present the valedictorian of the class of 2017. Please welcome Catherine Rigsby. Thank you, Mr. Dickerson. When I walked into graduation practice Wednesday morning, speech writing was quite literally the last thing I thought I'd be doing in the two days leading up to graduation. So you can probably imagine that when Dr. Vaded told me I would be addressing you all this morning, I was shocked and honestly, slightly terrified. Those of you who know me personally can attest to the fact that public speaking on a time crunch isn't exactly my favorite hobby. So naturally, my first reaction to this news was to mentally panic. Also important to note are the few seconds I spent legitimately considering running from Dr. Vaden's office. <laughs> In all seriousness though, there are so many of you who deserve to be up here just as much as I do, so I'm truly honored to speak to you this morning. It seems like just yesterday when our parents dropped us off at Ravenwood for the first day of freshman year. We were eager and bright-eyed, ready for all high school had to offer, such as a candy store and supposedly a pool on the roof. Four years later, we're slightly less bright-eyed due to sleep deprivation, but nonetheless, equipped with valuable knowledge. While we have undoubtedly acquired significant factual knowledge, it's the unique life lessons that will ultimately prove most meaningful in the years to come. It's for this reason that I ask many of you to share your most integral high school experiences and the subsequent lessons learned. With that, I formed a top 10 list of some of my favorite responses, which I'll now share. 
Number one, be thorough. When baking a three-tiered cake to celebrate Mole Day in Miss B's AP Chem class, one should always remove the toothpick prior to serving. Should you have questions about this, feel free to ask Kurt Erickson as he kindly located said toothpick in his mouth. Number two, participate. Many of us have learned that it's every man and woman for him or herself in the cutthroat, heated, often fight to the death ordeal that is a Mr. McElrath AP English Socratic seminar. Three, dress comfortably for any situation because you never know when you'll spontaneously break out in yoga or dance to Richard Simmons' workout videos in the middle of Mr. Silva's English class. Number four, the sound of someone's voice can act as an alarm clock. Thank you to Ms. Gorakovsky for waking us all up during the morning announcements for four straight years. Number five, learn to adapt in any situation. For example, I'm now completely immune to being constantly elbowed in Ravenwood's overcrowded hallways and being pelted with rain when I'm forced to walk around the school to go from the portables to the main building as opposed to simply using the library door that's a mere 10 to 15 feet away. <laughs> this is now, believe it or not, a completely normal occurrence. Six, your taste buds and immune system can take quite a beating. Somehow, we've all endured four years of questionable chicken nuggets with extraneous ingredients. The administration says it's real food, but my bet's on cardboard. Number seven, focus on what really matters. Based on the noise level during the morning and afternoon announcements, it's certainly not that. Eight, always be on your guard. Sidney Nelson learned this lesson when Mr. McElrath, immersed in a spiel about his inability to swallow carrots, accidentally spit carrot chunks in her face. <laughs> Number nine, time is a relative term. Due to the many dysfunctional clocks within Ravenwood's halls, it might be 8.37 in upper B, 12.05 in lower D, and 3.08 in the F hallway at any one point in time. And finally, number 10. Now keep in mind, this one mainly just applies to Coach Farkas. <laughs> Never, under any circumstance, hit someone with your car. Memories such as these have led us to where we are now. Today we stand on the precipice of a new phase of life that begins the moment this ceremony ends. Despite the conclusion of our Ravenwood journey, it is these memories that will serve as a permanent reminder of our high school experience. Yet memories were not the only significant part of the last four years, for it is relationships that have brought us to this critical point. Thus, I'd like to take a moment to recognize the relationships that have been an integral part of our lives. To our teachers, thank you for consistently going above and beyond to help us succeed. Thank you for believing in us even when we had no motivation left. Thank you for being patient this semester, especially when senioritis was at its worst. On behalf of the class of 2017, I'd specifically like to thank Mr. Dickerson for putting up with us for four long years. To our parents, thank you for all you do. We literally would not be here without you. Thank you for supporting us unconditionally. Thank you especially 
for putting up with us during a stressful senior year, for reading college essay after college essay after college essay, and for reminding us to just breathe. I know we don't say it enough, but we truly do appreciate you. To the class of 2017, we're now headed for the dreaded real world. Gone are the days when our greatest worry was where to sit at lunch. We've progressed to daunting questions such as, what am I doing with my life and who am I? I want to challenge each of you, myself included, to not let fear of the unknown get the best of us. Instead, be willing to step outside your comfort zone. As Coach Whitlock said at Baccalaureate, get comfortable being uncomfortable. Take a course you're truly interested in despite the fact that it's challenging. Sit down with someone you don't know, just because. Embrace those who are different from you, whether it be in looks, beliefs, or culture. Try a new activity. You never know if it will be your new favorite hobby. If one day you find that the path you're on just isn't right, have the courage to seek out what you're truly passionate about. It's the times when we're most vulnerable or ready for change where we see the most growth. The next four years, and even the rest of our lives, will not be easy, but it will ultimately be worth it. Class of 2017, now is our time to forge our own paths and create new memories. Now is our time to pursue what we love without limit. Though our paths will be unique, we will always be connected by our roots as Ravenwood Raptors. So go out, live life, and congrats, class of 2017. Thank you. We will now have a special musical selection performed by the Ravenwood Choir.
While the seniors are taking their seats, I want to extend a warm welcome to everyone this morning and good morning to the class of 2017. This class is the first class to experience the effects of downsizing. Up to this point, we were growing at a fast pace. Because some of our students were zoned to a new school, there was a different energy than ever before last year. This class had to maneuver the highs and the lows of many of their friends moving to a different school. They led us through it, though, and with the help of the student newscasts on Friday, Jackson Leffler reminded us to step it up. This class did that for the whole school, and so is our tradition of describing the personality of each graduating class. You will be rem remembered as Step It Up 2017. The graduating class has made a significant mark for themselves and the school. They are the class that step it up in many ways. If you've heard this morning with the ACT score and the um, National Merit Scholars, something that hasn't been mentioned is 88% of the class was offered scholarships to colleges and universities, over $47 million. And 84% of the class accepted scholarships offered to them in the amount of over $24 million. For students taking advanced placement courses, to become an AP scholar is the highest honor. Students must meet the criteria of an average score of four on all AP exams and scores of four or higher on eight or more of those exams. There were 55 seniors in the state of Tennessee to meet this criteria, and 10 of them were from Ravenwood High School. I want to acknowledge a, a, a Greg Grant, a parent who has helped the broadcasting students with the technical side of graduation every year since 2005. And we say goodbye to an ever popular Shane Shoemake, our broadcasting teacher who will be going to Page Middle School to start a broadcasting program there. They are responsible for the technical side of graduation. Thank you very much. And one last reminder before we present the class of 2017, we have always held a dignified ceremony without loud noisemakers. Each family deserves to have their daughter and son's name heard as they walk across the stage. So now, are you ready to graduate seniors and we'll begin to start the process. Amanda Jean Agnew. Abigail Suzanne Agresta. Morgan Eleanor Ainsworth. Bryce Daniel Ackridge. Sammy Al Asmar. Ethan M. Albrecht. Nicholas Charles Alexander. Riyath Alshawi, in memoriam.
Rhea. Riyadh's diploma was received by his brother, Amir Alshawi. Andy Sophia Altemeyer. Emma Brooke Altizer. Jada Antonia Amico. Amanda Reese Anderson. Martin Antonio Anderson. Nelson Alexander Curry Andrews IV. <laughs> Stefan Goran Antic. Nikhil Edward Arun. <laughs> Afia Asare. George Oliver Askew III. <laughs> David Asukwo Ati. Austin Zachary Ayala. Abigail May Baker. Deborah Annalise Balcarsi. Samantha Lynn Baldwin. Caitlin Marie Ballone. Bailey Patterson Barker. Christopher Jackson Barker. Ben Barone. Andrew Barrett. Chris Barrett. Joseph Philip Barrett. Catherine Diane Bartholomew. Sarah Rose Bartz. Adam Scott Bednowitz. Trinity Bell. Evan Jacob Bentley. Emily Catherine Berexa. Caden Berger. Haley Covington Berger. Jillian A. Barris. Natalia Biancari. Sebastian Bielski. Faith Caroline Bills. Braden Birdwell. Anne Catherine Blackburn. Cameron Robert Blair. Taylor Lee Blaylock. Brooks Chandler Bowden. Jared Colton Boggs. Ellie Renee Bogle. Ayenda Obanucci Bombs. Marcel Jan Boyson. Carson Grace Boudreaux. Hunter Boyd. Charles Joseph Boyle. Renan Marcus Brainerd. Julia Brecker. Caitlin Renee Briggs. Kyle Edward Briggs. 
Miranda Yeva Brentnaw. Megan Lindsay Broder. Alexandra Catherine Brosvik. Blake Richard Brown. Isaac Brown. Jessica Yeager Brown. Kayla Ann Brown. Ellen Marie Bittner. Emily Batrago. Lane Carlton Burke. Kirsten Megan Bush. Josh Butler. Dalton Tavy Kane. Guy Caldwell. Liam Michael Cameron. Vadik Kniff. Hayes Andrew Knup. Salvatore Caramucci. Kaylin Beth Carr. Kelson Michael Castile. Jacob Victor Castillo. Rajvan Chalky. Macy Suzanne Chambers. Ashley Marie Chapman. Ashley Julianne Chen. Samantha Pearl Chrisman. Kaylee Grace Churchill. Peter Clifford. Timothy Daniel Cody. Titus Benjamin Cody. Cole Combs. Noah Patrick Conlon. Carolyn J. Connolly. Zachary A. Cook. Bennett William Cooper. Carrie Kincaid Corcoran. Samuel Corkery. Samuel John Cosgrove. Garrett McLean Cox. Madison Nicole Cox. Nicholas Clay Cox. Tiana Grace Marie Cox. Brooks William Crawford. Catherine Nicole Crawford. Jessica Lauren Crosetti. Cody Donovan Crossland. Taylor Marie Crow. Claudia Cruz. Jacob Scott Cummings. Molly Ryan Daly. Annalise Aaron Dance. Alexandria Davidoff. Harrison J. Davis. Jessica Irene Davis. Davis George Deaton. Jessica Elizabeth DeCooper. 
Sophie Ann DeCooper. Amanda Elise DeYoung. Haley Patricia Diggs. Connor Bond Dodson. Dalton Matthew Dooley. Sophie Elise Drake. Dixon Zachariah Drost. Elijah James Dreyer. Susanna Dunn. Lauren Elizabeth Duvall. Annalise Eileen Dykes. Jayla Kiara Easley. Anna Elizabeth Effinger. Alexander James Edged. Kurt Vincent Erickson. Martin Eskander. Leah Ashley Etheridge. Braden Alexander Evans. William Anthony Exler. Patrick Joseph Fallon. William Redding Ferguson III. Cole Robert Fick. Brina LeRae Field. Jack Richard Filipovic. Lauren Allison Finan. Brody Allen Findlay. Jennifer Leanne Fior. Akila Diane Fisher. Matthew Van Hoosier, Florida. Christopher Flynn. Kelsey Foley. Callan Catherine Fonz. Garrett Michael Foran. Sydney Patricia Fordyce. Nathaniel Albert Freeman. Nicholas Lewis Freeman. Avery McCall Frith. Rachel Claire Gad. Nevi Gayton. Maria Ann Gentili. Blair Alexandria Gerardo. Philippa Sudeep Gantasala. Philippatier Simon Gaddis. <laughs> Bailey Marie Gibson. Justin Patrick Gilbert. Nick Gibson. Madison Kiana Goldsboro. Taylor Gonzalez. Kaylin Marie Goodbread. Emma Catherine Good. Emma Dawn Goodwin. Ariel Simone Griffin. Avery Conrad Tory Griffin. 
William Brendan Groskoff. Theodore Augustus Grosson. Stephanie Caroline Groves. Henrik Armin Hahamian. Zachary Hahn. Hayden R. Hall. Joshua Logan Hall. Garrett Michael Hamrick. Monica Hanna. Camille Francis Han. Austin Taylor Hardesty. Savannah Grace Harris. Jacob T. Harrison. Jessica Lee Hart. Matthew Christopher Hartnett. Jared Hasbrook. Lauren Elizabeth Haynes. Chanel A. Higgins. Michael Himes, Jr. Hannah Grace Hinchin. Molly Louise Heffler. Drew R. Hoogerland. Caroline Susan Hopfensperger. Julia Emma Hopkins. Rebecca Lynn Howard. Carson Wayne Howell. Drew Hale Huffman. Anne Marie Hussey. Ahidiaman Ahu Imioparia. Oscar William Istas. Bailey Aaron Jackson. Everett Wade Jackson. Kayla Lynn Jadwin. Rhea Manish Jason Ani. Allie Faith Jankowski. Jenna Claire Jankowski. Rafael Jeremillo. Bryson Tyler Jenkins. Andrew William Jensen. Caitlin Carol Jett. Ethan Shelton Johnson. Ivy Elizabeth Johnson. Mad Madeline Elizabeth Johnson. Meredith Lee Johnson. Sierra Marie Johnson. Zachary Aaron Remrup Johnson. Preston Randolph Johnston. Alexis Sabrina Jones. Jonna Latoria Jones. Natalyn Brooke Jones. Logan Alexis Jordan.
Michael Kamel. Soham Makarand Karanjakar. Blaine Kasa. Madison Elaine K. Gwendolyn May Kaiser. Anna DeAndrea Keller. Andrew P. Kelly. Zachary Matthew Stone Kessler. Christina Kim. Jin Kim. Yechen Kim. Young Kim. Young Ray Peter Kim. Nina Kendrichuk. Michael P. Kendi. Abigail Elizabeth King. Mitchell Brian Kiriasis. Ashley Nicole Klee. Rachel Allison Clayman. Keely Rayanne Klingy. Catherine, Catherine Sarah Kimsick. Jeffrey Edward Knapp. Benjamin Jangsu Knickerbocker. Tara Cook. Bradley David Condor. Joseph C. Kramer. Avery Michelle Krause. Adriana Brooke Kurowski. Abene V. Kusumanchi. Stephen Kwan. Soko Kwan. Clayton Webb Lamb. Michaela Deru Larkins. Griffin Ikaika Lau. Spencer Allen Leyland. Will Adams Layton. Ryan Gabriel Lee. Samuel Sungho Lee. Jackson Emery Leffler. Connor K. Lehman. Caitlin K. Lehman. Patrick Michael Lighton. Abigail Ray Little. Alexis Celeste Little. Ethan Lobo. Baker West Lockhart. Tessa Lorraine Loftus. Sydney Grace Logan. Riley Morgan Long. Grace Hughes Lapakinski. Brittany Jordan Loy. 
Eric G. Liu. Jerry Tishwin Liu. Lance Michael Lucas. Tanner Campbell Lucas. Taylor Gray Luer. Rebecca Christine Luke. Macy Dale Lyle. Austin James Mabry. Zachary William Mack. Michael Magdi. Sarah Ashley Maggart. Grayson Dean Malone. Lydia Marison. McCain Marrow. Alan I. Marshall. Conrad Luke Martin. Gunner James Martin. Lauren Ashley Martin. Erica Allison Massey. Catherine Lane Massey. Matthew Luke Mastroberti. Cameron Thomas Matlock. Caitlin Ann Matthews. Kylie Rose McCoy. Colin Thomas McCurry. Aubrey Brianna McDade. Emily Elizabeth McGarra. Michael McGarvey. Kevin Michael McGinnity. Abigail Elizabeth McGuire. Jessica Lee McKissick. Delaney Rose McLaughlin. Zachary McLean. M. Lucan McMahon Hill. Emily G. McWilliams. Savannah Ellie Masillo. Hayden Brent Miller. Tavion E. Mills. Genevieve Ann Minius. Noah Murtis. Blaine Mitchell. Stan Ashley Mitchell. Jess Mixon. Grace Carolyn Moffitt. Alexander Malika. Lance Alexander Mott. Laura Bellamy Moxley. Tanner Chapman Munsell. Andrew Dawson Murphy. Kimberly Elizabeth Murphy. Michaela Pearl Murphy. Sky Lynn Myers. Philip Carter Nelson. Sydney Nicole Nelson. Daniel Francis Xavier Nicastro. 
David Trent Northcutt. Lillian Grace Norvell. Connor Daniel Novak. Emma Nicole Novak. Hayden Oberg. Alexandria Leanne Olds. Brianna Jane O'Neill. Sarah Catherine Orange. Mulan Lara Kai Osborne. Jacob Thomas Osterberg. Madison Marie Owens. Kendall Lynn Pace. Ashley Elizabeth Page. Francis Ann Palmer. Paula Melina Pamplona Ramirez. Destiny Renee Pennell. Daniel Henju Park. Sanghyuk Park. Jack Parks. Emma Blair Parrott. Grace Parsons. Carly Allison Pascal. Harsh Bachu Patel. Sophia Marie Elpitha Patonis. Mary Lismore Patterson. Austin Jack Mallow Pert. Anna Greta Lee Peterson. Kathy Pham. Meggie Fan. Ethan Chandler Lewis Phelps. Brooke Allison Phillips. Valerie Michelle Phillips. Harrison Pearson. Brandon Pembroke Pitts. Alexandra Marta Plukas. Maya Janae Pollard. Benjamin Luke Polloway. Anna Rebecca Poole. Joshua Ross Porterfield. William H. Post. Sebastian Dion Poheter. Ryan Pritchett. Gabrielle Pro. Bethany Page Pruitt. Jasmine Minakshi Puria. Ava De Quintero. Wesley Halbert Rains. John William Rawl. McKenna Ashton Raymer. Laura Lauren McKenzie Reed. William Carter Reed. Hugh McKinley Reeves. Elise Ann Rhymechisel. Abigail Elise Ray. 
Sophia Opal Rhodes. D'Angelo J. Rice. Kelsey Ann Richardson. Zachary Kyle Richardson. Connor William Ritchie. Logan Scott Ridings. Catherine Grace Rigsby. Nicholas James Ritchie. Faith Annalee Roberts. James Leo Roebuck. Alexander Joseph Roseberry. Zachary Royer. Nicholas Saldariaga. Alexis Ilana Saldivar. Michael Blake Sams. Emily Santoro. Mason Lee Shai. Joseph M. Schuler. Eric James Schumacher. Rachel Delaney Seaton. Matthew Austin Serena. Kiana Shahosini. Kyler Lowell Shakeshaft. Rudra Priya Shanker. Zach Anthony Sharber. Dalton Alexander Schaub. Nicholas Drake Schaub. Kellyanne Renee Shaw. Corey William Shearer. Christopher Sheldon. Jacob Lee Shelley. Michelle Yewan Shin. Jack Thomas Shirley. Marcus George Sickling. Elizabeth Ann Simmons. John Gabriel Simmons. Braden Noah Sizelove. Allison Lindell Skelton. James Carter Sloan. Kevin Donald Smalley. Ilan Josiah Smallwood. Seth Thomas Smeltz. Griffin James Smelter. Alexander Rinnick Smith. Cassidy Paleen Smith. Cheyenne Loreen Smith. Macy Catherine Smith. Matthew Lee O'Mara Smith. Zachary Adam Smith. Claire Elise Sorensen. Michael Colby Spearnock. Austin Robert St. Arnold. Meredith Paige Stanley. Dylan, Dylan Charles Stengel. Chad Frederick Stevens. 
Britton Scott Stokes. Emily Adelia Stone. Jackson Longfellow Stone. Jennifer Lee Stone. Matt Stravel. Claire Kishori Siddarshan. Kyle Robert Suggs. Tara Logan Sumatra. William Milton Summerall III. Mina Gurgis Tadros. Annie Blair Taylor. Ethan Dempsey Taylor. Jaden Taylor. Benjamin Tima. Emma Melissa Thomas. Tony L. Thomas, Jr. Carmen C. Thompson. Madison Hope Thompson. Taylor Brooke Todd. Natalie Nicole Tooley. Kayla C. Tolls. Matthew Ryan Trainer. Thomas Tran. Carson Lee Truman. Emma Ruth Underwood. Celeste Marie Vangeli. Blake Van Landingham. Mitchell Pierce Vines. Reed Brennan Vogel. Camille DeRosa Volcano. Alexandria Joy Vinneman. Morgan Grace Rainwright. David Franklin Walker. Jake Matthew Walker. Justin Walker. Michael Gregory Philip Walker. Morgan Leon Walker. Thomas Graham Wallace. Pamela Michelle Waller. Jace Chandler Walter. Timothy John Walton. Allison Ward. Daniel Ward. Megan Ward. Nicole Ward. Kendall McKenzie Warden. Thomas McCall Waring III. Abby Renee Warren. Julie B. Wasak. Sebastian Waters. Catherine Nicole Weaver. Hayes Webb. Keaton Wedeman. Anna Elizabeth Weeks. Cynthia Abigail Weeks. Abby Wellinghurst. Bailey Marie Wirtz. 
Riley Elizabeth Wheeler. Aaron Arthur White, Jr. Addison Haley White. Kobe R. White. Jameson Every White. R Riley Malia Ann White. Tyler Dennis White. Benjamin Fox Williams. Carolina Suzanne Williams. Grant Robert Williams. Hannah Williams. Taj Williams. Bailey Wilson. Cameron Archie Wilson. Sarah Elizabeth Witcher. Tate Jordan Wolf. Alexandra Taylor Wolf. Carson Woods. Tally Woods. Regan McKenzie Woosley. John Robert Wright. Logan M. Wright. Alec Daniel Yates. Heath Michael Yates. Satara Yazandani. Sohela Yazdani. Susan Yazdani. Haley Elizabeth Yeager. Scarlett Loretta Yosko. Elizabeth Young. Nassim Zarir. Megan Elizabeth Zinger. Truman James Zumwalt. Thank you all for coming. We had a wonderful graduation today. I hope you have a wonderful uh, celebration this afternoon and, and this evening. And now it's time for me to say, through the power invested in me by Governor Haslam in the great state of Tennessee and the director of Williamson County Schools, Dr. Mike Looney, I pronounce the class of 2017 graduates of Ravenwood High School. Throw your hats. Off from my city, off from my home 
We're flying up, no ceiling when we in our zone. I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my